The Interlogix medical pendant can have its batteries changed by accessing the screws located on the back of the device. On the back side, there will be two small Phillips screws that will need to be removed. It is to be noted that even if your system is not armed, by pressing this button, you can potentially set off the alarm. So we want to ensure that when we're removing the screws, that we're doing so in a way that will not apply pressure to the face of the device. Once the screws have been removed, we can pull off the back plate. From there, you'll see inside to the where the battery is housed. We can pull this part out of the device completely. The front of the device will be where the button is located, and the back of the device will have the battery. To remove the battery, we want to press down from the top, forcing the battery out. out. This particular battery for this device is a CR1632 three volt battery and can be found at most drugstores or bought online. Once you have the new battery, we wanna make sure we slide it in with the lettering facing up. And then when we put the device back into the housing, we wanna make sure that the battery is facing towards us so that the button can be pressed. When we put the cover back on, we want to make sure that all the parts for the accessories are installed correctly. There'll be holes for different parts of the watch or for the necklace attachment to fit into, and we'll cover it with the plastic. While this device is water resistant, it is not waterproof and should not be fully submerged, but can be taken and used in damp environments. It is important to test this device. To do this, you'll want to call into Liberty Security and have your system put on test. From there, an over-the-phone technical support agent can assist you in testing the signaling from the device by pressing and holding the square button. You want to press until you see the red lights. A quick press will not work on the device, but it hold for about three seconds.